Galileo Galilei was born in Pisa, Italy in 1564. His father, Vincenzo Galilei, a fairly famous musician, wanted his son to be a doctor. Galileo initially followed his father's direction and studied medicine at the University of Pisa. It was there that he discovered he had a passion and a talent for mathematics. Eventually, he became a professor of mathematics at the University of Pisa and later at the University of Padua. In the early part of his academic career, Galileo conducted experiments that led to landmark discoveries. For example, by dropping objects of various sizes and weights, such as lemons and cannonballs, from high places, he discovered that regardless of their size, they all fell at the same speed. His first major achievement was in 1583, when, after much work measuring the swinging of pendulums, he derived a mathematical formula to describe their motion. In 1609, he learned about the Dutch invention of the spyglass and used his mathematics knowledge to improve on it and build the world's first telescope. Of course, he couldn't help looking at the night sky and recording his observations. In 1610, he published The Starry Messenger, in Italian, Siderius Nuncius, a treatise describing his discovery of new stars in the Milky Way, the rough surface of the moon, and four of Jupiter's moons, which he mistakenly identified as stars. To gain favor with the powerful Medici family, he suggested that these stars orbiting Jupiter be named the Medician stars. The paper made Galileo an instant celebrity, and his efforts to curry favor with the Medicis paid off in the form of an appointment as a mathematician and philosopher to this royal family. He now had a mechanism to make his theories known. Galileo's theories and observations, however, were deeply disturbing to the leaders of the Catholic Church. For example, his description of the moon's surface as rough conflicted with the Church's belief of heavenly perfection. Most disturbingly, he discerned that the four moons of Jupiter moved in a pattern that proved the Earth was not the center of the universe, but rather that everything in our planetary system moves around the Sun. Although this heliocentric theory was advanced by Copernicus in the 16th century, and even earlier by the ancient Greek astronomer Aristarchus of Samos around 200 BC, the Church in Galileo's day supported the notion of a well-ordered universe with the Earth at its center, also known as the geocentric model. Charges were brought against him by the Inquisition, and in 1616, he was accused of heresy. He was cleared of the charges, but was ordered to stop saying publicly that the Earth revolved around the Sun. But Galileo couldn't stop. In 1632, he published another great work, dialogue concerning the two chief world systems. He thought he was being clever by presenting arguments in favor of both the geocentric and heliocentric models, but the authorities quickly saw through his scheme and he was again summoned to appear before the Inquisition the following year. He was found guilty of heresy and was threatened with torture unless he renounced his geocentric theory. During his official renunciation of the theory, he purportedly said, Epur si muove, yet it moves. Galileo received a life sentence for the heresy charge, but because of his advanced age, nearly 70, he was allowed to serve his sentence under house arrest. He died nine years later in 1642.